So this question looks like it's going to be a diagram question. We have the table provided here. So let's take a look at this table as I, as I tend to do before I read. So it looks like I have three different stores, A, B, and C, materials cost, rental cost of a wheelbarrow per day, and rental cost of concrete, right? So all these different costs are separated by the type of store the, or the, you know, the name of the store, okay? So I think I understand that. Um, one way I like to make sure I understand is something called the pinpoint method. So I'm just gonna circle this 25 here and try to interpret it. So that $25 is the rental cost of a wheelbarrow per day for store B. Okay, got it. All right, so now let's read the information and get down into the question. So the information says Mr. Martinson is building a concrete patio in his backyard and deciding where to buy the materials and rent the tools needed for the project. The table below shows the materials cost and daily rental costs for three different stores. So we already went through that. The total cost Y for buying the materials and renting the tools in terms of the number of days X is given by this equation. So I always rewrite my equation. Y equals M plus parentheses W plus K and then X. I'm not a fan of having the X on the, on the right hand side. So I'm going to just rewrite this this way because it really doesn't matter. And I just like the way that looks a lot better. Okay, so now what does the question actually say? So the question number 16 says, for what number of days X, so this is what we're trying to solve for, will the cost of buying the materials and renting the tools from store B, okay, that's important, be less than or equal to the cost of buying the materials and renting the tools from store A? Okay, so we want uh, this equation for store B, to be less than or equal to that same equation for store A. So the translation, so this turns into a translate word problem question. The way that I would translate that last sentence is I go to store B, right? So looking at this second row. So what would the cost be for store B? So it's gonna be capital M, which is materials. So 600, right? So I'm just basically replacing M from this equation with 600. So 600 plus X, because we know that's what we're looking for, parentheses, and then W for store B is the 25 that I had circled earlier. And then K for store B is 80. But we want this to be less than or equal to this cost for store A. So store A, store A's M, right, is 750. And then again, plus X and parentheses, uh, 15 plus 65. So 15 plus 65. Okay, so here is our translation, right? This is exactly what the question told us. B less than or equal to A. All right, so let's simplify this. So I'd have 600 plus, I'm going to combine these inside of my parentheses because of PEMDAS. 25 plus 80 is 105. And then because of the X out here in front, I'm going to just say, well, 105 times X is 105. X is less than or equal to 750 plus 15 plus 65 is 80. Again, 80 times X is 80 X. So 750 plus 80 X. Now I can combine some like terms. I'm gonna, I want my X's on the left-hand side, my numbers on the right-hand side. So I'm gonna subtract 600 from both sides and I'm gonna subtract 80X from both sides. So that's gone. 105 minus 80 is 25X is less than or equal to. 750 minus 600 is 150. And again, these 80X's cross out. So almost there, divide by 25. So I end up with X is less than or equal to 150 divided by 25 is six. So X is less than or equal to six. And therefore the final answer here is choice A.